<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the Hack Shack. I really wanted to have a go at making table saw tacos, and then I realised that I don't have a table saw. So this time we're going to be making hack bench jalapenos. Let's get started. Where the Hack Shack now stands, there did used to be a greenhouse, and then it got blown down in a storm, and this is the one surviving plant from the inside. Now, if you haven't got a proper Incredible Hulk bowl, I guess it looks like a normal, regular bowl would work just as well. You all know the drill by now, folks. Remember to stay hydrated. Well, let's get to it. So the ingredients we need are the peppers, some vinegar, some salt, some sugar, some garlic and peppercorns, and a little bit of water. Now remember to slam everything down on the table because that's what people do when they cook. As with any form of making, make sure you follow all the proper safety precautions. And don't forget to sneak in the little red guy for a little bit of flavour. Now before we crack on, we just need to make sure that the jars are sterilised. You can do this by just chucking them in the oven, um, but here I'm just going to boil them up in a big pan of water, and that's because we're going to use the water later to help can the jalapenos. Now the pickling liquor is half water, half vinegar, uh, and then into that we add uh, a spoonful of sugar, a spoonful of salt, and some black peppercorns, and a little bit of garlic for flavour. Now this is only the second time I've ever made jalapenos, and the first time I made them they were a little bit too sweet, so I did reduce the amount of sugar. Now this is where things start to get a little steamy. Now that the jar is properly sterilised, we start to fill with the jalapenos. Now you want to make sure that the jalapenos are covered with the pickling liquor, but you want to leave a little gap of air just at the top and that helps contract down as it cools and makes a really nice tight seal. Now you want to let these simmer for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, I like mine a little on the crunchy side so I'm doing them for a little bit less. So there you have it, uh, hack bench jalapenos. Mm, you know what would go great with these? How about some triple fried chunky chips with bacon and cheese and sour cream? Oh yeah! Now just to be clear, we're talking about chips, which are not to be confused with crisps, but they're a little bit similar to fries. Now if you're not quite sure what you're doing in the kitchen, um, just put a tea towel over your shoulder and everything will become clear. Now as you can see, the potatoes of the are way out of 90 degrees, so just use the square to get them back into shape. Now I like to use the marking knife to start off the cutting line, uh, and if you find that you're getting more than 8 chips out of a potato, you're doing it wrong. Now you're just going to soak the chips in cold water and this just removes some of the excess starch. Now depending on how fresh your bacon is, you might want to clamp it down while you cut it. Now once the bacon is sufficiently crispy, you just want to take like a slotted spoon and a, a fine sieve and just make sure that you drain off all the excess oil and fat. Uh, and then once that you've done all that, just basically uh, tip it all back in because why on earth would you want to do that? That's where all the flavour is. Now before we chuck the chips in the fryer, you just want to make sure they're nice and dry. And you can just do that using a tea towel. Now these are getting their first fry at 150 degrees. That's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's just to give them a blanch and to soften the inside. Now while they're blanching, we'll just grate our cheese. We've got half red Leicester and half cheddar. That's real cheddar. So after about five minutes blanching, they're nice and tender inside, but they're not coloured at all. And then we just crank the heat up to 180, and then we go in for the second fry. And this will crispy outside nicely. Now for a little bit of seasoning, we've got some salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and a little bit of cayenne. Now you can still hear how crispy these chips are, and that's important. 
So in with the bacon, quick tossing all that lovely bacon fat, uh, and then it's get the cheese on top and bang it under the grill. Now all we try to do here is melt the cheese and you can see that that grill is smoking hot, so it only takes a few seconds. HP, hydrate. No wait, I'll snack shack. 